Okay, this next piece written by Mongo Santa Maria is called Afro Blue. So this is going to uh, match some Afro-Cuban elements, so African elements through Cuba, right? I mean, Cuban, Cuban music is basically African music in its origins, but Cubans took it and did something else with it. So this has got uh, both of those things going on. That's what we call an Afro-Cuban. Most of what we refer to when we say Latin music is Cuban-based music and therefore African music in its origins. So the rhythms can be traced back basically to West Africa. So in Afro Blue, we have this um, rhythmic pattern, which is uh, something that those of us who grew up in the United States uh, many of us are not that familiar with. So we have, we can look at it from two different angles. We can look at it as two against three or three against two, but that's really looking at it from a European point of view, right? It's, uh, it's polyrhythmic in that um, we have two simultaneous meters going on uh, in opposition or coordination to each other, however you want to think about it. But really, I think um, African musicians or players or Cuban musicians or players don't think in those European terms. Um, they don't grow up with that as a part of their language, they just have the sound. And so I think really in, uh, with respect to what goes on rhythmically in that music or this music has more to do with uh, longer phrases. Uh, in other words, a rhythmic phrase. That's, uh, that happens over time, and there's various things that happen during that rhythmic phrase. We tend to not think that way so much in European music. We tend to look at more of the smaller chunks of things and how things line up on the page rather than uh, more of our oral sense of it, which is an arc. So this can be uh, challenging for those of us that grow up in the United States and most of what we hear is in 4-4 and duple meter with a lot of downbeat type of stuff. And I think in general, rhythmically, jazz is very challenging for most of us anyway because the underpinnings of jazz in general is African. And so the rhythms that you hear in this particular piece actually in some way underlie all of the pieces that we're playing. So Georgia, for example, the 12-8 feel, you know, um, that's a compound triple meter, right? So, um, you know, everything that you've heard tonight, it, we can't really play anything that we attach the name to jazz that doesn't have that kind of African rhythmic underpinning to it, but it's just that this is more prominent in this particular piece.